This is the Meet 'em Video Podcast. Exclusive micro interviews of famous athletes, celebrities, and professionals with personal invitations for fans and clients to directly meet them virtually at meetem.com. This is the Meet 'em Video Podcast. This is new. Here's a young man who overcame the most traumatic situation that any young man can. Abused by a father, love-hate relation, father commits suicide, this kid goes on, haunted by that indication, gets beaten for the light heavyweight championship, and now wins the cruiserweight championship. Our congratulations go to him. We're here with Bobby Chez, three-time world champion in three different weight divisions, 44 wins, 28 of those by KO. He's a former Showtime boxing commentator for 10 years, and I'm a big fan of this guy. He's fought some of the best in the world coming out of New Jersey. How you doing today, Bobby? Good to see you, bud. All right, Lee, what's happening? I appreciate you coming aboard on us with uh, meetem.com. And just right off the rip, I want everyone to know that Bobby's available uh, for bookings on, on virtual bookings on meetem.com for five and 15 minute uh, sessions. Uh, and Bobby just has so much wisdom about the fight game, about life. I mean, he is a walking miracle, uh, not only in the ring, but from out of ring battles. Um, his, his personal stories, his, his wisdom, his experiences is, are just immense, you know. So I highly encourage anyone, you know, in the fight game, not in the fight game, sports, so forth, to go book him and share some time with him because you would really, he, you will be really inspired and encouraged by this man's story bobby what's going on man where are you today uh these days i'm down in west palm beach florida enjoying the sun i'm not a fan of the cold weather as i'm getting older i'm 59 now sneaking up on a big 6-0 so i'm not happy about that but then again i am man you're in the right place well west palm beach florida in the middle of the winter it's what it's about 80 degrees or something Something like that, but today's raining is a little cooler. It's not so nice out today. That's all right. You know, every every day can't be good. We can't appreciate the good days without the bad days. Ain't, ain't that something? You can never appreciate truly great stuff without really having terrible stuff in, ahead of it. That's it, man. So so true. So true. Can you share um, an inspiring or encouraging story? You know that happened to you personally. Well, my dad passed away at. When I was 21, he committed suicide because of something I said. And for a few weeks after that, I just was trying to have something, just keep drinking wine to get to sleep. I couldn't do anything. I, I sort of threw in the towel and almost gave up on myself. And then one day when I was just laying in my bed, I had this great epiphany that if I put my mind together to do the right thing, my body will follow because my mind controls my body. My father always taught me that, and that's not what I wanted for my future. I didn't want to be miserable for the rest of my life, and I wanted to go on and achieve the goals. See, originally the dream was for my father when he was younger to be a fighter, and he made me and both my brothers who were younger than me. I was 10, there, Vince and Tony were 9 and 7 at the time we went to the gym. It was his, my father's dream that one of his sons be, be that, that boxer that made it. And it's only apropos that it was me, Robert Edward Ches Jr., some junior, that I went on to live his dream. In. And I, want, I was dead set on making that dream happen. There were days I came home and I would fall asleep in my meal. I'd be bleeding in my nose, broken nose, dislocated jaw. And my mother would say, son, why are you doing this to yourself? You're killing yourself. I said, mom, I got to leave a footprint. I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in the, the God or the devil but I do need to leave a footprint on this earth when I leave. And now I'm a world champion in three different weight divisions that can never be taken out of history. That's my place. Absolutely, my man. And so you carry that on, you know, you carry that on for, for a legacy, not only of your own, but of your father, man. And that that's, that's really, really touching. And that's something that, you know, that you can have in your heart forever. You know, and I, I love that story. Yeah, I just couldn't let his, his – I mean, I, I understand some different reasons why he may have done what he did, and some of the reasons may be honorable, but not – you know, it, it's a permanent solution for a temporary problem. 
And I would have liked to think that we could have got past the problems, but uh, it was his dream that got transferred to me, and I had to make that dream come true for both of us. Once heard of suicide is a horrible thing, you know, suicide and depression, and you know, uh, especially in our society now. And, you know, the it, you know the I read something one time that says uh, suicide doesn't kill the pain; it only transfers it. You know. And you took that pain that was transferred to you and you made it a positive and constructive with your life, you know, and, and you left that you're leaving that mark that, that you set out to not only for you, but for your father and for others who are suffering from the hurt and pain and loss of, a, you know, a loved one or friends who've died, you know, uh, who's, who's left this world as a result of suicide. So, man, I, I commend you, bro, that you're, you're my hero. Well, I appreciate it. I, I just became obsessed with making a mark. And because my name is the same as his, his name also will live forever in history, in sports history. So I'm, I'm happy with what I've accomplished. Beautiful, man. That's beautiful. How about this? What What is the best life advice? You've been around the world. You've, you've, you've rubbed elbows with the kings and queens, so to say, being a three-time world champion and and so forth. What is the best life advice you can give uh, that you've learned and, you know, you could give, give all of us, you know, or give, you any- know, the, the best advice I was ever given was actually given to me by my father. Now he, he phrased it in a different way than we normally hear it. They always say, think before you speak or act. He would say, engage your brain before you put your mouth or your body in gear. Think before you speak or act. But he would say, assess the situation as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And then once you have, once you have that thought process locked in, set your body out to, to do what you need to do, good, bad, or otherwise, you do it right. And by and large, that's, that's helped me throughout life, including with his death. You know, sometimes it isn't easy. Sometimes people panic. Sometimes people freeze. I, I'm very fortunate. I've been... And a lot of this was from some of the beatings that my father gave me, but I don't freeze. I don't panic. I stop, I think, I assess, and then I act. I don't always act correctly. Sometimes I take the wrong path, but I do act according to what I believe is correct at the time. And I don't have a lot of time sometimes (laughs) to make that decision. Instead of reacting, respond. You know, and that is good advice, you know, and I, I, you know, it took me a while in my younger days, it was always reactionary, uh, you know, and so forth and not responding, you know, so that is great, great advice. You know, my life became so much better, you know, by responding instead of reacting. <laughs> Somebody's, you, you, you got to react. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And depending on what that reaction is, may determine where your life goes. Yeah, 100%, 100%. So, Bobby, what are you doing currently? Is there anything you're working on that you would like to let our listeners know about and uh, our viewers and listeners know about? You know, it's kind of funny. uh, As we go forward in time, we sometimes take a step backwards. What they've made legal again is bare-knuckle boxing, bare-knuckle fighting. There's a group called uh, Valor BK, Valor Bare Knuckle, yeah, and uh, in, in the end of January or early February, I'm going to be, uh, again, the expert analyst for that. And it's very interesting. I've seen a few of the fights. The strategies will be different because it's bare knuckle. I don't have to hit you with my best shot to cut you or break you open or sweat or swell you up. All you need to be is consistent and quick. And other times, there are different situations. Imagine a rib cage getting hit with bare knuckles. They're going to bruise much more quickly, much more easily. It's going to put different strategies in play, and I think it's going to be exciting. There's also going to be, unfortunately, a lot of blood. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's sort of how the UFC started out, bare knuckle. Now, is that going to be based in the United States, or, they, or is it operating out of um, somewhere else? They, they are operating out of the United States as well as they have been operating throughout the world. So there have been some countries who were involved. But the United States has already had some of the fights, and there are going to be more. That's great. And now, can you tell me the name of that again, where where, where our viewers and listeners can uh, learn more, get more information, or they can it's, Google yeah, it? Valor V A L O R Valor B K Valor Bare Knuckle. 
Got it. Perfect. That's, the name, right, of the, cool. that's the name of the group that I'll be working with. And uh, there's a gentleman who I understand who I hadn't seen but back in the day. He was in the uh, UFC stuff. Uh, Pat Militich. He's going to be my he, – and he's also yeah. another – intelligent fighter who doesn't speak like a fighter, which is kind of funny. Um, he's a legend in the MMA, just as you are a legend in the boxing. Yep. I, I, I know his name very well. Sure. <laughs> well, nice. Well, I look forward to checking it out. Hey, guys, this is Bobby Chez here on meetem.com, a place that you can find me. Many of you have been looking for me for years, trying to find me on the Internet or get someone who has my phone number. Go to meetem.com and book me directly. Me without getting my home number. <laughs> this has been the Meet em Video Podcast. Every show is an exclusive micro-interview of famous athletes, celebs, and professionals with personal invitations for fans and clients to directly meet them virtually at meetem.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. We know we had fun. We'll be back soon. But in the